Hello guys, my name is Madhurima Mukherjee and I'm a final year MBBS student from Archika Medical College, Kolkata. And today I'm going to talk about procrastination. So what is procrastination? For those of you who don't know, what is procrastination? It is a habit of delaying an important task, usually by focusing on a less urgent but a more enjoyable task. So we procrastinate, most of us we procrastinate on a day-to-day -day basis. We go to sleep at night thinking that we are going to wake up tomorrow, complete all the activities in the to-do list, be very productive. But the moment we wake up in the morning, most of us, we feel tired. We, the things don't turn out the way we want them to be. What is the reason behind this? So the reason behind this behavior is we human beings like to delay the urgent, important, but the relative, apparently more difficult task and do the more the tasks which are easier more enjoyable like watching netflix watching televisions doing social media of course playing video games they are more enjoyable and more interesting right so we always want fun right so uh, i read this book called procrastination equation which explains the concept of procrastination through the lens of motivation which means that we tend to do the activities more to which we attach which motivates us more or which uh, for which we have highest motivation so to explain this fact let me give you an example suppose you need to you have to decide between two things whether to study for an upcoming exam in august or to play video games which one are you going to choose so for most of us it's going to be video games right because most of us will think the exam is in august I'm going to study one week before exam and right now I'm going to do something which is more fun that is playing video games. But we know playing video games has its consequences. We know that but still we can't resist that impulse, right? So clearly we need to do something to increase our motivation for the things which we don't want to do, which we procrastinate on. So this book has summarized four points which we can follow to achieve what we want. Number one is be confident. Inner confidence, inner belief, self-belief that you can do it is the most important, first important, the most important step to start. Because without that inner confidence, you're never going to sit, you're never going to start and you're never going to be consistent. That is more important. Second is setting a deadline. Setting a deadline is important because without visualizing the finishing line, you are never going to start. You're never going to feel like starting or be consistent because there will be enormous amount of time to complete. So you're never going to complete the task. Number three is attaching some value to the task. That means you need to find out the intention and the purpose behind the task you want to do. What are the benefits of doing the task? Suppose you want to exercise. You need to find out the, what is the intention behind exercising what why do you want to exercise what is the purpose behind exercising what are the benefits you will gain from exercising so those are the things you need to ask yourself and the final is delaying the gratification which is the most difficult and the most but the most important step we need to follow we need to delay the gratification we need to delay the reward we need to complete the task first and then take the reward it seems i know most of us we can't follow this thing that dealing the gratification but we need to do that so so this were the four points that we need to follow to uh, that will definitely help us to increase uh, motivation but apart from this let's uh, discuss some practical tips which can help to increase our efficiency can help us to be more productive so one thing is that um, research shows that number one reason for procrastination do you know what is the number one reason for procrastination can you guess it's being too tired so 28 percent of the people claim that they did not have enough energy to begin the work forget about completing so they don't have that energy to begin the work so we need to manage our energy Energy management starts with decreasing your screen time, which is almost impossible for many of us. But we need to decrease the time we spend with our devices. We need to go outside, take a walk, spend some time in nature. These are not dialogues. This we need to follow. We just can't preach, but we need to practice. So we need to practice. We need to go out, take a walk, spend some time in nature and spend some time away from our devices. 
second we need to take frequent breaks breaks we need to take frequent breaks whether you follow pomodoro technique or whether you follow your own technique i don't care about that but you need to take frequent breaks you need to, third is that you need to take a nap so a nap of 20 to 25 minutes in the afternoon has proven to improve your retention your memory your energy and your overall well-being now let's talk about priming so what is priming so our environment has several cues that trigger us to do or perform a particular behavior so we can remove those cues to become more productive right something which triggers us to be distracted yes definitely our devices again so uh first point is that you need to declutter your workspace so Whatever you're, wherever you're walking, you need to remove those things which distracts you for the time being. Second, you need to switch off all your notifications on your phone. And third, you need to, there, this is an additional step. So if you have this inbuilt app in your phone called the focus mode, or uh, you can download it from Play Store, you need to put your phone on a focus mode, which basically deactivates all the apps which are not necessary for the time being and keeps only those apps activated which you are working on. You need to work on so i uh, yeah, believe me this is a very important app uh, on your phone and this will definitely save you some time and lastly i want to discuss about combination of bitter medicine with sweet honey so what is this bitter medicine with sweet honey it means it explains the concept of temptation bundling so in simple word you choose a task which you are procrastinating on and marry it with one of your guilty pleasure for example you can exercise while listening to your favorite podcast or you can study while listening to your favorite music or your song favorite song in the background so these are some of the tips and uh, practical tips that can definitely enhance your performance but the main four points that i told you you have to emphasize on that first you have to be confident number two you need to set a deadline number three you need to attach some value you need to find out the intention behind the task why you are doing that what is the purpose and finally you need to delay the gratification these are the four primary steps that you need to follow and as an adjunct to those steps you can also uh, manage your energy spend them spend some time away from your digital devices then you can prime your environment and combine bitter medicine with sweet honey lastly we all need to remember that procrastination is a fight between ourselves and our impulse ourselves and our monkey mind it's it's a fight between your you and your monkey mind it's a fight between your willpower and your impulse and you have to win this fight your willpower needs to win this fight and you will win this this time you are going to win this fight so signing off see you guys next time bye